<laughs> okay. Yeah, the ones. Um, actually, my preparation is not that long. I only prepared for about a month. And um, I really struggle in reading part of the exam. Uh, first, I, I took my exam in last August, August 13, 2020 at IDP Riyadh, a computer-based exam. Um, it was easy on the speaking part because it was like Zoom. It was like a video call. So you, uh, your nervousness is parang nabawasan siya. And then um, on the area, area, on the area, you are obliged to wear masks and gloves and you are allowed to bring your own water without label. But before taking the exam, you need to, you need to place it on the locker room. And uh, somebody, somebody's asking if we are uh, wearing masks during the speaking. In IDP, no, because this is, it is like Zoom, Zoom, Zoom type exam only. So, medyo nakakapagsalita ka ng maayos. Mm. Yes, okay. So, yes. Um, if you don't mind, can you share your scores? My score is sobrang sakbo. <laughs> my my speaking is seven. My writing and reading is six. And then my listening is six point five. Overall, I got six point five wow. band score, which is enough for my visa screening. Wow. Ang galing. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So, uh, seriously, sir, hindi, hindi kasi ako masyado nag-review, kaya ganun siguro yung, yung, ano, yung score ko sa reading, listening, at saka writing. I merely focused on the speaking part. So, basically, what I did is listen on this, uh, in this group, and also some listening some YouTube material. Okay, so now um, please try to tell us about your listening, reading, writing, speaking exam. Ah, um, oh my goodness! All right. Please mute yourself, Grace. I'll mute them all. Okay, sorry. And then you can unmute again, Jeff. Please unmute yourself. Let's unmute. Okay, go. Yeah. Um, so listening part, it's medyo easy siya, that part, kasi masusundan mo naman yung, if you pay attention dun sa nagsasabi ng, ano, ng story, masusundan mo yung kada question. My, my, you will, sa computer base kasi sasabihin niya sa, sa'yo is, you have a chance to read question one to five. Please look at question one to five. And after that, focus ka muna dun sa one to five. Huwag mo munang tignan yung six to ten. Doon ka muna sa one to five. Kasi may time for you to look the six to ten questions. So then, after answering one to five question, focus again. Sasabihin niya naman sa'yo na, okay, you have ten at uh, 30 seconds to look at question 6 to 10. Then, focus again to 6 to 10. So, basically, medyo, medyo masusundan mo siya. Ang, ang hard part lang is kapag nasa question 30 to 40, kasi isa siyang mahabang conversation na 30 to 40. Hindi siya yung, hindi ka tulad dun sa part 1 na para siyang hinapi sa dalawa na 1 to 5, tapos sa part 2, pwedeng anim mo na yung tatanong niya, susunod yung apat, parang gano'n. Pero sa part 3 ng listening, yung, yung question number 30 to 40, yun kasi yung mahabang, mahabang story na kailangan mo talaga mag-pay attention sa buong, buong sinasabi ng ano, ng speaker doon. Hmm. Sa reading naman, uh, I struggle most in reading kasi tamad ako magbasa, sir. <laughs> So, mostly, nakak nakatulog na ako sa pagbabasa. 
And then, yung, but I, parang may time pa nga doon na parang nag-give up na ako sa reading, ayoko na nito sa mga <laughs> Pero, nung malapit na yung 10 minutes, parang doon na gumana yung adrenaline ko na, saka ako lang nahahanap yung mga sagot. So, I, I am lucky enough na magkaroon ako ng 6 doon sa reading. Yes. Mm. Sa writing naman, uh, part one is, pag computer-based kasi more, mostly ang lumalabas na tanong is graph or, ay, bar graph or line graph. Mostly ganun. So, I'm lucky that na yung lumabas sa akin is bar graph na tatlo lang yung, tatlong graph na parang ang natatandaan ko doon, uh, employed boys, er, employed men, tapos non-employed women, tapos parang ang sunod is part-time job woman, parang ganun yata yun. Tapos, ano, parang ang comparing sa 1985 to 2005, parang ganun yung Merlin tanong niya. Tapos sa uh, part 2 naman is um, which parang ang tanong niya is somebody believe that that uh, news can be learned best in the newspaper. However, somebody believe that they can learn news from other form of media. Give your opinion and what do you feel? Parang ganun yung tanong niya, sir. Mm. Then, sas, pagdating ko naman sa speaking, part one, uh, the part one is, nearly ang tanong niya sa akin is about, where do you live? So basically, my my response is uh, before I uh, before I lived in the Philippines, but since 2017, I already lived here in Saudi Arabia. Parang ganon yung sabi ko tapos. So the next question niya is, can you describe your house or your flat? Parang mm -hmm. So my my response to that is here in Saudi Arabia, I. I am living in a four four build a uh, four story four building. Parang ganun, four story building. I am living the second floor of a four story building. Tapos ganun lang. Tapos what do you like most about your flat? Parang sagot ko yata dun is living room or kitchen. You know? And then sunod naman is um, do you have a store near your flat? Then Kung may Filipino store daw ba, or may big store, then sunod is park. Meron daw bang park sa malapit sa flat namin, yan, yung mga tanong niya. Sa part 1. Sa part 2 naman, ang tanong niya, sir, is, is, is there, uh, describe a weather wherein you cannot do anything about it, then you would say, who's with you? What do you do? And, uh, what do you like about that weather? Parang ganun yung sagot mm -hmm. yung tanong niya. Then sa part 3, more on climate change. The, the, the part 3 part is more on the climate change. So, ang tanong niya is, ang pinaka naalala ko talaga yung last question is, do you think government has done enough? Do you think the government in your country has done enough about climate change? So, usually, yun yung, yung pinakalas na natanong niya sa akin. Yan, yun yung pinakalas na natanong niya sa akin, sir. Mm, okay. So, yung sa mga question, sa uh, speaking kasi ito yung particulars natin, may ginamit ka bang idioms, big words, and mga conjunctions? Um, siguro kasi, uh, may technique in speaking sa so part 2. Every category, I listed three words. For example, in weather, I use typhoon, um, ano pa ba yun? global warming, and then um, pollution. Parang yun yata yung mga nalista ko na. Basta every category, for example, animals, magkaroon ka ng three words na pwede mo magamit sa speaking or writing. Yun yung, <laughs> yung tekniko. So, usually, hindi naman ako nag- gamit ang mga big words talaga. So, ang ginamit ko lang siguro more on linking words and 
I enunciate more on the on on the words na sinasabi ko. Hmm. So, yun, yun. Okay. So, wala kang wala idioms? Din idiom. okay. Wala din akong idiom, sir. Wow. wow. Yes. Okay. Mm, eto, um, yung preparation mo, like, yung pinaka-intensive. Ga, ilang weeks yon or one, ilang days bago ka mag-exam? One week. One week intensive. One week, one week intensive mm. review. Okay. Then, actually, ito. Gano'n ka-intense yun? Pra- Gano'n ka-intense? Practice, um, practice test kasi I'm night duty. Sometimes we don't have patience. So, um, that time I'm night duty. Sometimes we don't have patience. So, uh, parang yung one week na yun, two days, all practice tests for listening. Then two days, all practice tests for reading. And then, mm-hmm. one day yata for writing. And then, mm-hmm. Uh, speaking, YouTube, li- listening to podcasts. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. So, ituloy-tuloy mo na yan. Yung mga resources mo, maging specific ka kung free or paid. Ay, um, ay nag-purchase ako, sir, ng, ano, ng Ito Language. Mm, social. Ito, Ito Language. And <laughs> that time, we, that, <laughs> that time kasi, sir, ano siya, there is a discount of 20%. Mm. So, Parang ang binayaran ko lang is $94. Ah, be- bronze, yeah. Okay. Because bronze as far as I know, yung ito is like $100 to $300. One hundred nine boya. $109 pag bronze. Mm, wow. So, okay. Other than that, ano pa? Mga pinapalo um, mo sa YouTube, online. Ay, isa lang pinapalo ko sa YouTube is Kif lang. Keith, keep O'Hare. Speaking Uh-oh. Academy yata yes. yes. Yun. Siya lang yung I found na medyo interesting. Yung hindi ako inaantok. Very light so, lang siya. <laughs> very light lang. O oh yeah, very light lang yung mga example niya. So, madali pa, madaling sundan. And then, mad, okay din kasi yung ano niya, sir, eh, yung, yung, yung mga example niya, parang lagi mong nahana lagi mo na, ano eh, lagi mo na nararanasan eh. So, yung pinaka-learn ko sa kanya, if you're out of words, parang go back to your core, parang balik ka sa childhood mo para may masabi ka pa. Mm. Okay. So, let's yeah, note on that. <laughs> okay. And, yep. So, aside from that, yung last night, bago ka mag-exam, anong ginawa mo? Before exam. Last, last night, mag ako mag-exam, I just pray na makatulog ako ng maayos. Uh, I just pray na makatulog ako ng maayos kasi if, my, my really problem is if I had a headache, ano, mawawala yung concentration ko. So, kailangan magkaroon ako ng tulog na maayos para, ano naman, yeah. mag-boost yung oh. confidence ko. Tsaka, yeah. ironically, yung, yung ano ko, yung yung mismong exam ko, mas nauna yung speaking bago yung mas reading, actual, writing. Mas prefer mo yung, ba yon Mas prefer mo? Um, kasi, ay, kasi noon, wala akong choice kasi yun na lang yung nandun <laughs> sa schedule nila. So, grab ko na kesa may, uh, madelay na naman ako ng ano. Uh, okay. So, ah, ito na lang. Isa pa. Um, yung during exam, sino yung examiner mo? Anong nationality? Nice ba siya? My examiner is very nice. He, though he is always cutting me when I'm speaking uh, around part one, part two, and part three, he's always cutting me. And then, um, the nationality, I think it's Australian. Mm. But she is on the other side of the room. But we we took the exam via Zoom. Mm. Okay. Just to prevent, uh, and just to follow social distancing. Okay. Well, my so last I question, bago tayo mag-jump sa so may mga question and answer ng mga members, what is your inspiration? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, ako kasi sir, nasimulan ko na kasi sa NCLEX, so requirements, kailangan tuloy-tuloy na. Kung 
hindi ko na naman siya gagawin, baka maano na naman siya, makornada na naman, eh, may chance naman ako na makapag-take. So, why not take the risk mm. na mag-take? Siguro, it's a matter of believing yourself when you're speaking and also putting your emotions towards the sentences you use. It's a really big help. Perfect. Perfect. Bravo ka doon. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's start na yung Q&A. Pwede na kayo mag-raise ng hand or mag-unmute. You can ask Jeff. Guys, if you have question. Hello? Sino may question? Hi, Jeff. Uh, this is Mylene. Hello. First of all, I would like to congratulate you. Though you. you said a while ago that it's uh, just an exact, but look, you <laughs> you passed it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so good. Sir Jeff, because, yeah, my problem is in speaking. Mm -hmm. So, what what can you, uh, what can you recommend me or can you give me an advice? How can I improve it? I know that uh, doing the Zoom activities meeting, I know that it will help me a lot. So, mm -hmm. what else can you, can you just... Uh, give i i would suggest that uh, you would use connecting words and also um when if you are you are out of words just think of the question or if you don't know the question you're not familiar with the question just think think of the clue in the question so you can answer the the, the question because the examiner would not grade you based on your answer it will grade they will grade you based on your your vocabulary, your pronunciation, and also sometimes it would help if you would uh, put some personal note regarding your answer so you could say more about it. Okay. Uh, just for example, it would be most useful in the part two because mm. in the part two you are just like, like saying everything that you know, pero what, what I did, kasi, for example, yung tanong kasi sa akin, um, about weather, na wala akong nagawa, magawa above the weather, para humaba siyang ginawa ko sa kanya, is, um, I remember back in 2017, uh, we had this typhoon called Yolanda, um, my me and my sister actually played with my niece and, and nephew. The time I I I remember my my niece cried because she lost the charade games. Parang ganon yung mga sagot ko. Then sunod sunod ng sagot ko yata dun sa kanya is uh, I remember I was not able to go. I was not able to attend with to to my work because of the typhoon. Parang parang humaba lang siya kasi medyo mahirap para sa akin yung yung ano ba yung wala ko masyadong idea sa sa question so ang ginagawa ko lang is magtatal muna ako ng story kahit hindi related doon sa sa question so ako sasagutin yung pinakatanong niya para lang umabot ako sa point na siya yung mag-stop sa akin hindi ako yung mag-stop okay po Thank you so much. That's all for me, Mr. Ship. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mylene. Um, any question? Okay. Hello, sir. Mm. Um, hello. Hello, Sir Jeffrey. Oh. Yes, Paul. Um, well, those are quite uh, helpful tips. Uh, can I just ask, did you prefer to take the exam uh, in the morning or in the afternoon? Ah. I am an afternoon person. I don't like morning exams because I cannot think clearly. Maybe, uh, because I need to warm up my brain first before taking the exam. So I took the two o'clock exam. Okay. And I think also um, uh, during your speaking session, uh, using those, uh, this Zoom, Zoom answering, uh, speaking, and using Zoom is um, 
quite quite uh, helpful also for you because it really lessened your nervousness. Is yes. that right? Yes. <laughs> compared when you're really yeah, uh, compared when you are in examiner. one and one with your examiner. Yeah. So let's grab the time to take the exam this pandemic. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I don't know about British Council kung one on one ba sa kanila, but in IDP here in Riyadh they do Zoom Zoom like speaking exam. Based sa mga nakapag exam nitong lately sa ibang group sa group din natin kaya lang nagsisecret sila. Um face to face na ulit. Mm. Okay. Dito sa UAE ah, sa UAE. Mm. Okay. Yun lang. Thank you so much, Green. 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 Okay, next question, guys. Please don't be shy. Ako po, Sir Jeff. Sure. Hello, Sir Jeff. Hello po. Sir, Gumamit ka po ba nung ano, IELTS Speaking Assistance na app? No, hindi talaga. Hindi Ang sa- ginamit ko lang talaga is merely, merely, uh, it's a language. Parang uh-huh. two days before my exam, nagpa-assess ako sa, sa one of the lecturer ng U- ito language. So, uh-huh. okay na, yun, yun lang ginawa ko. As yung tips na sinabi niya, for example, Uh, kasi madami akong nabanggit na but and and so so he instructed me to to look for a synonym on that words for example sa but parang ganun sa but ang parang sina, as a result parang ganun tapos yun yung mga sinabi niya kasi he, he is nagtanong kasi ako sa kanya kung kaya ko ba makasabing yun kasi yung una kong tanong sa kanya. Sabi niya, ginrate niya naman ako na kaya kong makaseven. However, kailangan kong ilesen yung paulit-ulit na but, na end and so. Yun. So, parang nagkaroon ako ng idea sa kanya. During the, the actual exam, nalesen ko naman siya. Nakagamit na ako ng mga, nagamit ko na yung moreover to end this. Also, despite of, even though mga ganun, Perfect. Roots? Okay, po, sir. Maraming pong salamat sa pagsagot sa aking katalungan. Okay, sir. thank you so much, Roots. Any else, guys? Pwede na kayo mag-question kay Jeff. <laughs> Kasame ko siya uh-huh. ng names. Okay, go. Hello? Okay, so we are, we are, meron tayong 25 participants here. Huwag kayong mahiya mag-question. <laughs> Julian, Kay, Leanne, JC, Gracie. Kaya, yeah. Rose, pwede mag-question. Kahit tapos na mag-exam si Rose. Go. <laughs> yes, my question, uh, my question, sir, is regarding sa, regarding sa, ano, the video and uh, what do you call this zoom type of ano ba mas i guess nakaka-affect so tingin mo ba nakaka-affecto din yung or tingin mo nakaka-affecto or nakatulong na you're under video ano or in zoom type of ano kasi di ba nakaka-nerve nakabawas nervous ba para sa yung during your testing mm mm-hmm. totoo no nakakabawas siya kasi every day we experience video call with our family din Diba? So, hindi, hindi ka na bago dun sa part na yun. Bag, ang bago para sa atin is yung one-on-one interview. Not every day naman, meron tayong ka one-on-one interview, di ba? So, yes, yes. so just, so, just think na nakikipag-usap ka lang sa kanya para mabawasan yung nervousness mo. Pero, so, ang, na, ang, may, naka, nakaka, nakakaba pa rin naman, pero, less na lang siya kasi, hindi mo naman siya nakikita personally eh. Makikita mo na yung expression niya sa computer. Pero di tingin ka na lang sa ibang part ng ano, ng, ng room para mawala yung ano, ma- 
para tuloy-tuloy ka pa rin makapagsalita. Oh, Or kaya yeah. i-compose mo na lang yung kamay mo, ha, kamay ka na lang, na oh. pinipiga-piga mo siya. Na hi- para hindi naman, hindi naman niya makikita eh. Oh, so strongly suggested, guys, that at this moment you will take your exam. Kasi, meaning to say that most of the people who doesn't have the confidence to, you know, do the act while speaking, they will have the, ano da, di ba, opportunity na to <laughs> advantage. Um, Rose, especially if they are in KSA, because here in UAE, I think they are no longer... Um, during the Zoom. But last June, actually, they had that for IDP. Ah. Mm-hmm. Guys, mag-take na kayo. <laughs> so, yung mga nasa, yes. Saudi, yung mga nasa oh. Saudi, baka meron pa nun, go kayo doon. Oh, meron pa. Meron pa ba yung dito sa Abu Dhabi? Meron pa din. Ay, DTN, Ay, ma'am. Kung meron pa. Uh, kasi yung... Si ano, IDP. Si, 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 si Aldrin, IDP. Ito si um, Rose, British Council. Pero British yung nakaraan Council. nag ano, nakaraan nag-exam sa Dubai, um, IDP, pero one-on-one na. Ang dami na rin kasi nag exam eh. Face-to-face na, I mean. OMG. Mm. <laughs> okay, may, may question pa ba, guys? Kasi magka-question na lang ako ng iba kaya. Ay, eto. May utterance may... po ba kayo, sir? Nag-utter ba, Jeff? Nag-utter ka? Nag-stutter? Um, oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh. Oh, pero not really na madami. Mm. Siguro kasi parang that moment, total hindi ko naman siya kaharap. Parang ina-enjoy ko lang. Mm-hmm. So, yun siguro yung, yung pinaka-right term. Parang na-enjoy ko lang that time. Pero kung meron naman, may, there's a time, there, there's one time na pinarepeat ko yung question kasi hindi ko naiintindihan. Pero okay din naman sa kanya. Mabait naman yung examiner. Okay. okay. Um, Jeff, could, for example, after nung exam, how confident you are na oh my God, I got this. Or, oh my God, I cannot have this. Mm. What's your um, After the speaking part, because feeling ko I'm confident enough to have seven, seven sa speaking. So, di ba nga sabi ko earlier, I don't have enough time to review. So, I I just pray and when nung dumating na yung two o'clock for my listening, reading, and writing, ang sabi ko na lang is, I'm lucky if makakasik sa ko dito. Of course, Seven sa listening. My target actually is seven sa listening, tapos seven sa writing, tapos bahala na yung reading ko. Tsaka, ay, seven sa listening, tsaka seven sa speaking. Tapos bahala na reading and writing. Parang feeling ko, ma, hindi naman, makakasix pa rin naman ako sa both category. Parang yun, yun yung ano ko nun, yun yung pinaka-goal ko nun. Pero after the total exam, nung pauwi na ako, kasi nga na, na ano ako sa reading, sabi ko baka five lang ako sa reading. Yun yung assess ko sa reading ko. Baka five lang ako sa reading. So, nag-iisip na ako, ulit ba? O ulit siguro ako. Parang ganun yung... So, so may, planning moment, may planning moments ka din nung ano, waiting for the result? Oo naman, sir. Meron. <laughs> Meron talaga. Mm-mm. Hindi ka nakakatulog. Paano mo na-handle naman yon kasi yun, mahirap yung waiting game. Ano, dahil busy rin naman sa hospital, so nawawala yung ano, <laughs> nawawala yung anxiousness ko. So, syempre, pag nasa hospital ka naman, you need to be focused sa patient, di ba? So, yun siguro yung nakatulong din na you handle more patients. Mm, okay. So, my question si ano, how many months yung preparation mo, sir, by JCD? Para na-mention mo kanina, One month no? lang. One month. One oh. month lang po, sir. Mm-mm. Okay, before tayo mag-ask, um, J- um, Jeff, um, 
this is also your chance. I don't know kung madalas ka ba nag-reviews dito sa group, pero kung kano, paano mo, ayun, ayun, kung may gusto ka lang pasalamatan or sa mga ka, palagi mo ka-speaking sa group or ka-review, um, shout out mo sila. <laughs> totally kasi sa, sa group, sir, wala akong ka-speaking body dito sa group. So, merely, ang ginagawa ko lang talaga is silent listener. Yung pinipick up ko lang yung mga mga technique nila. Sinasabi nila. Mm. Technique nila. So, kasi dito sa sa hospital namin, maraming magtitik na ayon. So, basically, sila yung mga ka-speaking partners ko. So, yun. Nag-share naman kami based sa mga natutunan namin sa kanya-kanya namin mga mga group na sinalihan kasi dito sa group na to wala akong cover yata hindi ako for sure wala akong cover yata dito parang yun yun yung ginagawa namin kasi dito lang sa group ang ginagawa ko lang talaga magdilisan lang ako sa ano yung kapag nandun si Mandy sila ano yun makikinig lang ako hindi rin ako magtatro makikinig lang talaga <laughs> oh, kanya kanya kasi yung style. Kasi alam mo kung anong oh, effective oh, sa iyo. Ayun. May question si ano, Crystal. How you manage your time po? How less than six minutes tayo ah. Less, less than six minutes. Okay. Um Kasi ano lang ako, sir. Ay, ma'am, nung panggabi kasi ako, wala masyadong patience. So, mostly parang ang pisa kasi ng work ko ay 6. PM, tapos matatapos ng 6 AM. So, mag-start ako mag-review ng 8 hanggang 1. Luckily, walang dumadating na patient that time. 8 to 1 or 2, ganyan. Tapos, mga 2 or 3 kasi maraming gagawin na na iba. Yun na yung gagawin ko, sir. Pero yung, mostly ganun yung review ko, 8 to 1. Mm-hmm. Ng, ano, ng gabi. Okay. Meron sa chat kay Rudes. Um, kay Rudes, pwede, nababasa mo ba yung chat? Pwede mo siyang sagutin si Rudes. Sir Jeff, doon practice mo. Um, well, yung practice ko sa, ano, sa speaking ko doon sa coach, yung one-on-one, ang sabi niya sa akin is based daw sa um, um, coherence, vocabulary ko, and pronunciation. Uh, makaka-7 naman daw yung score niya sa akin. Pero, if susun kung i-delay ko daw yung, yung schedule ko ng exam at magpa-practice pa for another month, kaya ko maka-8. Yun yung sabi niya. Pero ayoko na kasi mag-ano, mag-review-review pa ulit. Basta, so, basta may tawid. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yun. Yun naman. Basta ang sabi niya lang sa akin, man, ang pinaka- advice niya is useful for reading and speak ay useful for writing and speaking in every category for example animals uh, weather how uh, home school work um, list at least three words na pwedeng mong magamit na not usually na ginagamit natin for example sa technology you can use um artificial intelligence, mga gano'n. Yung mga not usually na ginagamit natin words. Para mag-memorize ko ng three words every category. Tapos, try to use it in a sentence. Mm. Yun, yung, yun yung advice niya sa akin. And, ayun yung in-apply mo. Effective naman mm-hmm. sa'yo. Okay. Um, okay, we have our last question. Bago tayo mag-ano kasi less than three minutes na tayo. Sir, do you think mas okay magbigay ng score ng IDP compared to British? I, Miss Mel, I cannot answer to that because hindi ka naman po nasubukan yung British, uh, yung sa British Council na exam. I, I could just attest dun sa IDP. Siguro mas, mas, siguro friendly yung, friendly lang yung mga staff sa IDP dun sa, sa set sa testing center ko. Kaya medyo less yung kaba. Pero hindi ko, pero tingin ko naman same naman sila ng way kung paano makapag, makapagbigay ng score. Okay. 
kung nag-review ka po sa speaking, sinulad mo po yung mga sagot mo sa ideas mo. Yes, it will help na you write your answer. Actually, I, I have one notebook for the whole review sa for IELTS. Mm, wow, nakapag-compile ka pala. So, yes, um, mm-hmm. less than one minute na lang tayo. Um, thank you so much, um, Jeff. Congratulations. So, maraming thank salamat you, sa pagbigay ng testimonials and congratulations. See you in the US. <laughs> Claim it. <laughs> yeah. See you. Okay. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thanks.